According to Ofgem, the average British household uses between 242 and 1,000 kilowatts of gas per month. Meet Bob. Bob lives in a three-bedroom house, is semi-detached, and he lives in a small town. He has gas central heating and hot water. It's Bob. Mrs. Bob. And it's Baby Bob. He's currently paying 10p per kilowatt. Between October this year and November this year, he used 304 kilowatts at 10p to heat his house. Looking over the year, Bob has spent £30 a month in heating. Times eight, between February and October. During the four winter months, Bob predicts a usage of 350 kilowatts per month, taking his payments per month for heating and hot water to £35 per month. Bob has spent £380 a year heating his house and providing hot water in his home. Bob, in his three bedroom house, wants to reduce his carbon footprint by not burning gas. He wants to look for an electric alternative which saves him money. Bob is looking at two options. Bob is thinking of retrofitting an air source heat pump using an accredited installer and Bob is looking at using a gas company to replace his boiler with an electric alternative. Let's look at the air source heat pump. Bob wants to look at a quote for an air source heat pump. He's got an accredited installer to come round his house which has quoted him £12,000. Bob thinks this is expensive but Bob also knows that he is a £5,000 grant which will make his install cost £7,000. Baby Bob isn't going on holiday this year but baby Bob is going to have a really efficient air source heat pump heating his home. Currently, his electricity costs are 28p per kilowatt. We're going to work out Bob's cost over the next five to 10 years. Bob has just had his air source heat pump installed for a total cost of 7,000 pounds. His electricity rate is 28p per kilowatt hour. Between October and November this year, he's used 101 kilowatts per hour which accounts to £29. Over eight months, Bob has paid or will pay £226. Between the cold and winter months, he predicts a usage of 150 kilowatts as opposed to 101 kilowatts, which will cost him £42 a month. That's an annual cost of £394. Bob is looking at reducing his carbon footprint and against an air source heat pump option, he's thinking, let's replace it with an electric boiler. Bob gets a quote by an accredited installer and he's been quoted £2,000 to replace his gas boiler with an electric boiler. Right, Bob isn't as concerned with the electric boiler or passionate about it because it's not as efficient as the air source heat pump. Its COP is 1 to 1.5. It's not as efficient as the air source heat pump, but it's significantly less to put in. His current electricity cost per kilowatt hour is 28p. Working this out between October and November, he will be using 203 kilowatts per hour, which will cost him £56 a month. Over the eight months, it will cost him £454, and during the four winter months, we're predicting a 250 kilowatt per hour usage. That is a total amount of £734.72. Bob wants to do a direct comparison between the air source heat pump and the electric boiler. He wants to look at the running cost difference, the installation cost difference, and the maintenance cost difference. Right, the difference between a 6 kilowatt electric boiler and air source heat pump 6 kilowatt in installation is £5,000. Let's look at the additional electricity which an electric boiler will cost you versus the air source heat pump. If we look at the difference over the year, we can see that the electric boiler will cost Bob £750 and the air source heat pump will cost Bob £450. Over five years with electricity at the same rate, which we all know it won't be, Bob 
we'll be saving £1,500 installing an air source heat pump. If that figure is to increase, Bob will still be paying more having an electric boiler installed, but the comparison will be the same. because the COP on the air source heat pump will always be around three and the electric boiler will always be between one to 1.5. Let's look at the maintenance costs. Well, an air source heat pump will cost you around 180 to 200 pounds to get it serviced. Let's use the lower figure of 180 pounds. Times that by five, meaning five years, that gives us a cost of 900 pounds. An electric boiler on the other hand, give a figure of 100 pounds. Over five years, we get a figure of 500 pounds. So. The savings of an electric boiler versus an air source heat pump is £400 over the five years. Bob is looking at the next five years. Bob thinks the electricity cost next year will triple and he thinks it will stay the same for five years. Bob has worked out that the air source heat pump over five years will cost him a total £6,750. The electric boiler will cost him £11,250, a significant difference. Having the Essel's heat pump running for the five years will give him a £4,500 saving. However, the additional maintenance costs take that figure to £4,100. Bob has paid £5,000 more to have the Essel's heat pump installed. To make this saving significant, electricity is going to have to triple, quadruple, times five, times six, five, seven, to get that saving. Bob wants to look at the price of replacement. He wants to look at how much his air source heat pump will cost him over 10 years and how much his electricity boiler will cost him over 10 years. Right, the average cost is going to cost him between three and a half and four and a half thousand pounds with the electric boiler costing 1,500 to 2,000 pounds, which takes Bob to his first point. At the moment, using an electric boiler to replace your gas boiler will save you around a thousand pounds over five years. Over 10 years, it will revert on a replacement to stick with electric. Bob's gonna have his electric boiler installed and hold off air source heat pumps until they come down in price. Be like Bob.